All right, this is your Monday real life stock review. Simply put, let's dive in. Hey traders from around the world, Rage Against the Machine time, bulls are on parade. I'm here on Slack because I just wanna show off some incredible, amazing human beings. Lexi, congratulations, Lexi smashed some nice wins on Disney and Visa. Disney was the big win for most traders today. We'll talk about why in just a moment, but yeah, Disney was the really, really big winner. Shout outs to Ruben for getting a three hour winner on Intel. So congratulations, Ruben, and uh, my boy Danny getting 17 R's on Disney. Uh, Disney was again one of the really really big ones for today. Jason getting 1.3 R's, Brandon getting 3 R's on Disney calls and 1.3 R's on Walmart. That was from the weekly options newsletter trade. And uh, let me kind of just scroll in here. Yeah, Disney was just was wonderful. Amy snagging some good wins on Google. Let's go talk about why Disney was so great. So first and foremost. This was the trade that I've been mentioning and talking about relatively frequently in almost you know every video that I pull up on Disney. And we've been buying June 2021 calls, 140 expiration on Disney. And mostly because it's, well, Disney. And she's bouncing off of the 100 simple on a weekly chart, threw in a very, very extremely nice lower shadow here, right? Some buying pressure. You'll notice that it did not close above, oh, sorry, below the 100 simple on a week, on a monthly, and we're just working on bouncing it off of it. So nice trapping lower shadow, some bears getting trapped, bulls excited, the 100 simple on a monthly chart holding strong, and uh, overall, it just re they really weren't that expensive, the 140 June 2021 calls. We were buying them um, at $5, we were buying them at $4, and I never got filled at three or two uh, for this particular round. I've actually been doing this exact same trade um, all throughout here. This is the ninth time we've won on this trade. And ironically enough, I will be doing it again uh, when Disney fills this gap. I'll look to buy more at five and four and uh, just kind of go from there. Anyway, nice win, nice leap, good long-term trade. That was the big one for RLT today, at least overall. Thomas Wong took the microphones today for the uh, Monday day trading room for the min uh, moderator challenge for the month of May. And PayPal is one of the stocks that he played. Eric Hensley was able to snag an R on PayPal. Shout out to my boy, Eric, who lives here in Nashville. Nice looking trend, nice, what looks like a wave three on PayPal. So longer term, I'm really ready to buy a dip, but this stock, this trend is gargantuanly bullish and just looks superb. Plus everyone here probably knows exactly what PayPal is and they use them and they most likely know how they make money. So buy dips long term on PayPal, be bullish. I really, really like the wave structure and yeah. Love, love, love a pullback on this one, but it certainly is viable. Google, as Amy Powers mentioned, was our other nice winner. And Google, the reason that we played Google and actually got out before our target, so you can see the target was 1396.61. The reason we got out before the target was because we were up on every single one of our swing trades today. I mean, if you're a bullish trader, you, you had to win. Here's your retest gap. Here's your gap and go, bearish candle gapping up. So realistically, we bought the pullback on Google and it worked. Got lucky and it was a little scary to buy it back there on May the 13th, but it worked out pulling into the moving averages, pulling into the retest gap and pulling into the 100 simple moving average on a daily chart. Google, nice little winner there. Another swing trade winner was Bro, AKA Brown and Brown. Got triggered in on bro and we exited today at the 200 simple moving average, exited the entire position there. We got triggered into TEVA today, Teva Pharmaceutical. I do like that bullish close, so that should be interesting to see how that plays out. Didn't get out of that one today, although I did contemplate it and thought about it. But Teva in on that one. Uber got filled on an Uber swing trade, UBER with a little bit of a gap up and a breakout there. We'll see what Uber does. Again, may or may not work, I don't know. Uh, here's Progeny, another unfilled swing trade, PGNY, gapped over our entry today, unfortunately. So hoping this one will pull back, but ladies and gentlemen, please keep your eyes on Progeny over the next few days, weeks, and maybe even a month or two. This one has some legs, has some potential, really, really good close. I mean, man, 
this thing could start rocking and rolling over the next four or five days on progeny put it on your list and put it nice and high because it looks quite doolish uh the other swing trade that we were in was marathon oil mro chris rimbolt uh jeff kerr a lot of other traders in on marathon oil and again small win but we were up on every single trade today every single swing trade uh, was profitable across the board amd right had tons of put sales on amd and bull put spreads that we sold uh, sold some back on may the first sold other ones back here on may 13th those all expired well they will expire worthless but bought them back today so I was able to buy back put sales on amd got a put sale here on boeing and look at boeing i mean up 12 percent closing above the 20. boeing should easily ladies and gentlemen hit the 50 ema at some point right absolutely at some point be bullish on boeing buy dips it's not going away this stock will not hit zero this stock will go higher over time it is boeing people ticker symbol ba they pay a dividend they've been around for a while look for bullish trades on boeing be bullish on boeing play boeing bullish longer term all right i think you guys got it so that's my thoughts on boeing and other swing trades that we're in uh that we are waiting to get filled is edit e-d-i-t edit again this one may or may not fill i'm not sure i kind of like the candle today we're just looking for it to pull back into the long-term averages but if it gaps above or takes out the bearish high wave candle today i definitely won't be uh bearish on it let's see if we had any requests for today we did in phase and general electric so jeremiah is looking at playing in phase bearish actually so jeremiah this is one that honestly man just went counter trends <laughs> on in phase energy and it's okay right you mentioned that you haven't been trading all that long which is totally totally adequate that's what's a phenomenal phenomenal time to learn about these challenges now uh, what i would have you do if you get the opportunity is pop into reallifetrain.com's playlist and uh, go to our intermediate series. So the intermediate series is right here and really watch class four and five and three. Watch these really, really in depth because I talk about not going against the trend. So in phase energy was just pure and simple going against the trend. If you're shorting it up there uh, on all time frames, on all levels, on any way you look at it, in phase is straight up rock solid bullish with really good fundamentals too. So. Buy the dip on in phase, be bullish. General Electric was probably one of the easiest bullish gaps I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, GE making a brand new low over the last three days. This is lower than it's been since 2009. So you'll see the low back here in 2009 was not, um, 551. And last week we went down to 548. So what do you think that means? Well, it means that all the noobs were hopping on bearish expecting GE to go lower but they forget that GE is still a company and although it most likely will be broken up and sold off into parts, it won't happen yet. Plus, I mean, who's really gonna be shorting at an all time low like that? Anyway, GE, really, really nice bearish candle Friday and today we were gapping up above the high. Check out this five minute pre-market chart. I mean, wow, a one-toed wombat playing baseball with a 14 nine iron could have taken this trade. Look at this hammer pre-market. Really nice hammer, really nice hammer, classic resistance. I mean, you're, you're getting in bullish on the breakout with a stop somewhere down here on GE this morning, if you were watching it. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't watching it, but it did slowly scour higher. And congratulations for anyone who got a chance to play GE bullish just for a day trade. Uh, swing trade, I mean, maybe. Right, I do like the one white soldier nature. I do like the volume, the challenges. You're just getting punched in the throat at the 20 EMA. But maybe a day or two of sideways movement and a little bit of a pop. I'm not swing trading GE bullish personally, but can it go higher? The answer is absolutely. Most likely though, it'll be a pretty quick in and out type of event for the most part. Ladies and gentlemen, stupendous day for real life trading. Honestly, about 100 people made life changing money today. So can, again, congratulations for all those who did get the opportunity to do that. Uh, just really, really proud of each and every one of you. Trevor, well done on silver, uh, getting out of silver for 2.33 Rs. So I posted a trade on silver not that long ago, actually. And silver was, <laughs> this was a really good trade. So silver, 
May 13th, buy low location. Now again, when I post charts like this, I can't say, hey, get into this trade, bullish, like buy it right now. So I try to get as much information as I can. Possible buy low location, stair step pattern. I can agree that silver's in a buy low. If you have a long enough time horizon, you should be able to snag a bull win. That's kind of clear and boom. We broke out of that stair step the exact same day, 35 minutes after making this post and silver uh, since then is up pretty dramatically, about 10%, which again, 10% in three days, you know, uh, yeah. Anyway, all kinds of good stuff coming folks. All kinds of greatness around the corner. Monday, the US markets are closed. So I hope everyone is ready for a Memorial Day weekend. Let's not forget why it is obviously called Memorial Day. For all those who have served and for all those who families who have lost their loved ones, thank you for your service. Monday of next week will be Memorial Day, so the markets are closed. Wednesday and Friday, though, I will be back for more chart greatness. And until then, love life, love life, and trade it. Bye. You got it. That was your Monday stock review. Thank you for watching. You are incredible. And until next time, love life, live life, and trade it. Bye.